now that we know that the examination is based on Donald Trump and is an hospitality guru. Hi everyone. Case study proceeding is what we want to discuss now and we will be looking at the salient points we need to observe and also the likely examinable areas. This case study from exhibit 1 to exhibit 6 actually they are is predicated actually on the prevailing US election. Donald Trump election into 47th presidency and previously 45th presidency of the United States of America. So it flows from exhibit 1 to exhibit 6 and that is why I usually let us know that we must be conversant with what is happening around us to pass case study. We shall be looking at the role context, we shall be looking at your responsibility, we shall talk about hospitality industry as it relates to our country, we shall talk about examinable areas. These are the areas we are going to look at. Then it is important for us also to know the company's background. These are the things we are going to be looking at and under the examinable areas, we shall be looking at the financial analysis, we shall be looking at strategic business analysis, we shall be looking at risk management and assessment, we shall be looking at forecasting, budgeting and assumption, we shall be looking at reporting and report writing, we shall be looking at problem solving and recommendation and we shall be looking at communication skill. These are examinable areas which we are going to go into details right about now from Chichen's Associate Benga Olatunji FCA. Click like to this video, subscribe and share, share, share. Let's go. Now that we know that the examination is based on Donald Trump and is an hospitality guru. So you see that hospitality flows throughout all the exhibits. From your role context, you are Dan Kabir, a training consultant. The company that is employing you is Techno Consulting Services, and your supervisor is Michael Chikuma, a partner in charge of hospitality group within the firm. As per your responsibility, you must not forget that you are to prepare financial analysis and performance reports for the hospitality client. Also, you must identify weaknesses in client's financial statements and proposing solutions. Don't forget you are a training consultant. A consultant is known by preferring solution. Third, you have to be evaluating operational and strategic business proposal to ensure alignment with your companies or their clients' objectives and proper risk consideration. Why we preempt what questions may come in, this are your broader overview of responsibility. Four, you are to be assessing financial and business forecasts along with their underlying assumptions to make a recommendation to the user of your information. Also, draft reports based on your analysis. Don't forget, draft the report based on your analysis for the partner's review. Now, focusing on hospitality industry, which is the third aspect that we are looking at, techno consulting services specializes in high growth industry, particularly the hospitality sector in which Donald Trump is known for, actually. So, the source factor in your role now is will be determined by your being up to date on both local and international hospitality trend as per the background of your organization your organization is an a thousand employee firm reputable in consulting industry okay so we move on to examinable areas without wasting much of our time financial analysis now you are to be interpreting you may be hacks for key financial metrics like profitability liquidity solvency efficiency ratios and the like 
Also, your ability to assess strength is important for success in this examination, especially SVT. One, your ability to assess strength in the financial statements, identify areas of that requires improvement. Strategic business analysis is important for you to display, and as regards it, understanding of strategies in hospitality industry is key. Now is a few days to your exam. Now you may still quickly read up on hospitality industry. Pick some companies, probably. Preferably, I will advise you, you pick one of Donald Trump's organization, look for their financials and the like in order for you to be able to have some clips about strategies. Two, evaluating alignment between the operational plan and the strategic plan. I hope you know they are different. If not, go to my CSME click playlist and ensure you find out all these strategic objective, operational planning, and like videos that I made as regards this, we are giving ourselves tip. If you want details, there are a lot of detailed videos as regards every aspect that the question may come from that I had made. Another aspect which is examinable is risk assessment. Risk assessment identifying first of all is the first step of what risk is in your organization then understand the risk mitigation strategy that you want to use there are a lot of risk mitigation do you want to hone it do you want to accept it do you want to transfer the risk and the like i have a playlist on risk assessment and risk management go and look it up forecasting an assumption is another aspect that you need to display and may be examined. So evaluating uh, the validity of financial forecast and business plan brought before you as a consultant is important for you to be able to demonstrate such a knowledge. Assessing whether assumptions are realistic or not, are smart or not, reasonable or not, and aligned with the market condition. You need to be able to report writing is important. And when we are talking about report writing now, we are talking about when you are writing your solutions to this question, make sure your answers are coherent, that is linked with one another. It makes judicious sense. Is clear is precise that is no waste of much words just go straight to the point draft professionally as a consultant okay we cannot overemphasize your hospitality industry knowledge so your awareness of key drivers success drivers in hospitality sector is very important customer satisfaction cost management competitive strategy and the like i've done videos on every caption of this thing that i just mentioned strategies that i just mentioned look it up and quickly listen to it also understanding of trend now in digital transformation in digital transformation sustainability which i've been pointing if you've been following me is important it may come out also post pandemic recovery of hospitality industry your knowledge of it may come out let's quickly talk about problem solving in problem solving questions may arise and you need to demonstrate ability to develop actionable recommendation based on your financial operational analysis you need to be able to justify your proposal in light of the industry and evidence you've gathered clarity of communication that is communication skill will be the last that i will be talking about now ensure that your presentation your findings are effectively addressed to a senior colleague or a client and is balanced technically and is accessible accessible means that it gets to where you want to it to get to so this particular exhibit one now that we've touched on is we examine your ability to integrate analytical knowledge technical accounting knowledge industry knowledge in consulting context so ensure all these are Ensure that all these are taken care of. Next, 
We will be talking about Exhibit 2, which is on the Nigerian economy and the hospitality industry. So, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and join. Soonest enough, I will release the video on the Nigerian economy and the hospitality industry, which will be our Exhibit 2.